so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We are asked to match the function with the correct graph on the right. We are given g of x equals one divided by the quantity x minus four plus three. Remember the basic rational function f of x equals one divided by x has a vertical asymptote of x equals zero because when x equals zero we have division by zero and the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. Now looking at the function g of x, notice how the denominator is zero or the zero of the denominator is x equals positive four which means x equals four is the vertical asymptote of g of x. And since the vertical asymptote changed from x equals zero for f of x to x equals four for g of x, we can say that g of x is f of x shifted right four units. And then because of the plus three on the end, the graph is also shifted up three units. And therefore the horizontal asymptote is no longer y equals zero, it is y equals three. And now let's write g of x as a translation of f of x using function notation. To get the fraction with the denominator of x minus four, the input for f would have to be x minus four. So we can say g of x equals f of the quantity x minus four, which would give us the fraction, and then we'd have plus three. Writing g of x in this form, we should be able to recognize because the input for f is x minus four, g of x is f of x shifted right four units, and because of the plus three, f of x is also shifted up three units. So let's also make a note of this. G of x is f of x shifted right four units and up three units. And analyzing the graphs carefully, notice how these two bottom graphs both have vertical asymptotes of x equals four and horizontal asymptotes of y equals three. But remember, g of x is a translation of f of x, where for f of x, one piece of the graph is in the upper right-hand region, and the other part is in the lower left-hand region. So the correct graph is going to be this last graph, where again, one piece of the graph is in the upper right-hand region, and the other piece is in the lower left-hand region. This graph here shows a reflection across the vertical asymptote. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we're given g of x equals one, divided by the quantity x plus three minus four. Notice now the denominator is zero when x equals negative three, which is the vertical asymptote of g of x, which means g of x is f of x shifted left three units, and then because of the minus four, the graph is also shifted down four units, and therefore the horizontal asymptote of g of x is y equals negative four. Let's also write g of x in terms of f of x. We can say that g of x is equal to, again, to get this fraction, we'd have f of the quantity x plus three, and then minus four. So because of this function notation, where the input into f is x plus three, g of x is f of x shifted left three units, and then because of the minus four, the graph is also shifted down four units. So analyzing the four graphs, this first graph is the only graph that has a vertical asymptote of x equals negative three, and a horizontal asymptote of y equals negative four. And the pieces of the graph are in the correct region, and therefore this first graph is the graph of g of x. I hope you found this helpful.